With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. Hello everyone, let us start with our question. In this question, what is given? Acceleration of a body rolling down an inclined plane does not depend upon. Okay, so for example, if there is a uh, inclined plane, let's say this is our inclined plane making an angle of theta. Okay, and there is an object. For example, let us consider any object. It could be a cylinder, it could be a disc, it could be a ring, any object. Okay, it could be a solid cylinder, hollow cylinder, solid sphere or hollow sphere, anything. So if it is rolling down an inclined plane, so let's say uh, this acceleration value is a. So what is the value of acceleration? So the standard formula for these type of problem, for example, if this uh, body is having a moment of inertia i, for example, the mass is m, and let's say the radius is r. Okay. So the standard formula for this case is acceleration would be equals to g sine of theta divided by 1 plus i divided by m r square. m r square. Okay, this is the standard formula which we should learn. Now we need to find whether this is dependent upon angle of inclination. So here we can see for the a option. For the a option we can see that acceleration is directly proportional to sine of theta. Okay, it is not proportional to directly proportional to theta, but it is proportional to sine of the angle. So we can say that yes, it is proportional to and we need to find on which it does not depend. So on this it is dependent. So this cannot be our option. We need to find the wrong one. The length of the plane. Now if we see, is there any length if we see for B part? Is there any length which is coming in this formula? So G is not dependent upon length. Theta is not dependent. I M R square. These terms are not dependent. So we say that A is not a function of is not a function of function of length l of the plane so this can be our correct option because we need to find the on which it does not depend so b can be the correct option b is a correct option now it does not depend upon acceleration due to gravity so it is dependent upon acceleration due to gravity for the c part we see that acceleration is directly proportional to g so it is dependent upon the value of g so this cannot be our option we need to find the incorrect one does not depend upon radius of gyration. Now it is dependent upon radius of gyration. Why? Because if we rewrite this expression d in the d case, because we know that how is moment of inertia re related with radius of gyration? I is equals to m k square, where k is k is equals to what? It is radius of gyration. Okay. This is the radius of gyration. Then our acceleration formula would turn out to be g sine of theta divided by 1 plus in place of i here in place of i we can put the value m k square m k square divided by m r square that means our this formula would turn out to be g sine of theta divided by 1 plus k square divided by r square so we can say that our acceleration is directly proportional to 1 divided by 1 plus k square by r square so it is dependent upon the radius of gyration. So this cannot be our option. So the only correct option or according to the question which does not depend uh, upon uh, uh, this acceleration does not depend is on the length B. So hope you understood the solution. Thank you. For class 6 to 12, ITG and NEET level. Trusted by more than 5 crore students. Download Doubt and App today.